Scanner Cop, and um, of course Scanner Cop is a rip off of the Scanner movies, especially the original Scanner, but the concept ideal came from it. And I actually like this movie. I remember seeing it a long time ago on VHS, like on, on the rental spot, but I never had a chance to rent it because I thought it was going to be stupid. If I knew it was a movie I would have enjoyed, I would have rented it a long time ago. And let me just say, I also got Scanner Cop 1, and after this, be here for my next blog, it's going to be Scanner Cop 2. But um, Scanner Cop 1 is simple. It's about a cop who has stopped a mass scientist by controlling people's mind and brainwashing them on killing cops. And the evil scientist is played by Richard Lynch. And if you know Richard Lynch, he plays a lot of bad guy roles. Like, he's pretty good at playing a, playing a villain role. So it was good to see him as a villain in this movie. And um, the cop who happens to be a scanner has an origin story that his father died by accident, by shooting by one of the landlords of the building because he was going crazy with his mind because he needed to take the medication. And then a cop decided to adopt the boy. The boy grows up to become a cop who happens to be a scanner just like his father. So pretty much that's what the whole concept was about. It was about stopping a mad scientist by controlling the mind of innocent people because they're going around killing cops. Anyway, this is I did enjoy the movie. It is like a science fiction slash horror. It's a good movie, so Scanner Cop. And um, Scanner Cop 2, this time, unlike Paul Moore, it was more, kind of like more sto story driven. But um, this is story driven, but it has more of the action scenes, but where it's like more bloody and gory this time. And you have a killer who plays kind of like a Terminator role when he looks inside, he scans a computer in the reporter's office, and um, he goes for the list of weaker scanners when he goes after the scanners and drain them out of their energy so this killer becomes more powerful and um hold on, let me get his name hold on I gotta make sure Carl who's the villain of the um Scanner Cop 2 or Scans the Showdown um in Scanner Cop 2 the villain like I said he looks at a list of weaker scanners and go around draining their energy so he becomes more stronger and he wants to get his revenge on the cop which was played by the first cop Sam or Samuel, so he's going after a cop, but me, but he was weak to face him. So he goes, like I say, he's going after weaker scanners to get more power, and he does it in more gory ways, like drain them out of energy, make them into skeletons, like, like burning them. There was once when he kissed a lady, and like, like sucked the flesh out of her, like, suck, I mean, sucked the air out of her, including her flesh pieces, like. But um, it is really good. I actually like Scanner Cop too. And the battle showdown scene between him and the Scanner Cop going at it is awesome. So anyway, um, check out Scanner Cop 2. Pretty much the concept is simple. And then you'll love the special effects in this one. Anyway, DVD movie buffer piece and buy. And I'll do another movie review because I still have a whole bunch of slew of great DVDs. So trust me, it's not over 